Hello everyone. In this video, we are starting exercise 5.1. The first question you have to state whether these statements are true or false. Also, you have to give reasons for your answers. First statement is only one line can pass through a single point. This is false because from a single point, infinite number of lines can pass. So first statement is wrong. Second statement is there are an infinite number of lines pass which pass through two distinct points. So again, this is false because if there are two points A and B, let's say only one line can pass through these two points. So again, this is wrong. Because here it is given infinite number of lines. And statement third, a terminated line can be produced indefinitely on both the sides. A terminated line means a line whose initial and final point is fixed. So AB is a terminated point because it terminates on A and B. And it is given that it can be produced indefinitely on both the sides. Obviously, this is true because this line can be produced this way as much as we want, and again, we can produce this line in this way as much as we want. So, obviously, this is true statement. And fourth statement if two circles are equal, then their radii are also equal. Obviously, if two circles are of equal measure, then radii should be equal. Or it can be understood uh, the other way. Means if you are drawing two circles with radii 2 and another circle with same radii 2. So obviously these two circles must be identical or you can say similar. So obviously if two circles are equal then their radii must be equal. In the last statement in the following figure if AB equals to PQ means if this line is equal to this line and PQ is equal to X5 and this line is equal to this line then you have to find whether this line is equal to this line. Yes, obviously this is true statement and this can be understood by if we consider AB AB's length is equal to 4 cm because AB is equal to PQ which is given so obviously PQ must be also 4 cm of length and again PQ is given as equal to XY so again the length of XY must be 4 cm and because AB is 4 cm long XY is 4 cm long so obviously the length of both these lines must be equal thank you